Welcome to another time of prayer with me. This is Reverend Dr. Idikai Mary, the People's Bishop. Hallelujah. By the way, before I forget, let me say this. The Almighty God has called me, separated me. to be a deliverer, to mediate the transaction between heaven and earth. He's given me so much authority and boldness that things are happening on a daily basis that is greater than myself. Hallelujah. In these hands are the ability to transfer to you what is legally yours in the kingdom of God if you belong to it. Yendo Burukandi Asante Kanchumbo Narien Kendo Napasati Nte Katambarumbi Yesekeya Mukrandi Basande, Merumbu Kishati Karundu. The Almighty God is interested in doing something grand, something big in your life, if you permit Him. And that's what He want to do. And by the way, before I forget, will you consider, if you love me, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a handsome guy, you know that. <laughs> Will you consider knowing how different this movement is? Knowing how powerful and loving God has been in my life to you. Will you consider putting something aside for me a little money after taking care of all your bills and family first not me but you then put something aside no matter how little 10 20 30 50 100 200 500 a thousand. There are some of you who have been keeping your tithe, the tithe you're supposed to have given to the church because you don't have church. What I do becomes your church. Therefore, release the tithe as an offering to God in our lives and ministries. I'm waiting to receive from you and then I will say, Father, here is it. Now do your part, and God will for you. Because God has never lied to me, and he will not start today to lie to you over something like money. If God lied to you in terms of riches and money, then it means that eternal life is not real. Yes, put, put something aside, a little thing, as God makes you willing or a big thing in terms of finances at the bottom of this video you will see where it says donate go there click it will take you to my website web blog site go there and donate quietly securely safely and i will appreciate you and rejoice and not only that i will write back i will call you and I will rejoice with you. This will go a long way to taking care of the project of this ministry and my global evangelization. I've been called to travel around the world to train leaders of leaders, politicians, 
raise business men and women and raise pastors. That's my job. My email, if you look at the bottom of my email, it talks about God has called me to be a healer. I am his oracle. To redeem through Christ. And then to cause you to celebrate. Joy is the engine of heaven. This is Reverend Dr. Edikai Mary talking to you. And if you do not feel safe going to the website to donate, then write to me and include a check, an offering. You know, at the bottom of this video, if you are watching on YouTube, you will see where you can write to me. You can write to me and, uh, and, uh, and, and send your loving offering. I will highly appreciate it. Let me read to you from Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. See what Jesus says. Powerful words. I believe in this word. I swear that this word is powerful. This word says what it says and do what it says. Excuse me. Remember what Jesus said. The word I've spoken to you, they are spirit, they are life. So this word we are about to read is loaded with spirit and life. Behold. Behold. I have given you something already given. Behold. I have given you authority to trade on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Did you hear that? Nothing shall hurt you. Now let me begin by telling you something. Let me begin by telling you this. There is a difference between authority and power. Power is derived from authority, not authority from power. You only have power if you are connected to someone whose status is authority. You do not get authority from power. You get power from authority. A force is derived from authority and not authority from force. The kingdom of darkness deals with power. The kingdom of God deals with authority. Authority is magnificent, massive, constituted being. Authority is not just something that is like something written on paper and uh, becomes a decree and a law. Authority is God himself. Real authority is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That constitutes real, dynamic, explosive authority. It means the buck stops with God. Jesus said all authority has been given to him in heaven, which is the heavens, and on earth, and beneath the earth. Nothing is outside the territory of the governing authority of Jesus Christ. And not only that, you see, because the enemy deals with power, because all he has, all he's allowed to be, 
is derived from what God gave to him in those days, in the ancient past. And that is power, not authority. So when you go to the enemy to get something, you are only getting power. You are not getting authority. For us, instead of us only deriving power from God as a being of authority, instead, because he loves us so much and treats us like king, he, God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, decided to treat us as equals. What Jesus got, we got. Therefore, he decided to invest and adorn us and acquire into us authority also. And because we have authority, we can now boast of constituted force and power. Look at what the Bible says. Jesus said, Behold, I have given, I have acquired it for you because I got it. I now transfer it to you. I impart it to you. You now got what I got. Authority. And he said, It is also an authority over all. He did not say over all the authority of the enemy. He said over all the powers of the enemy. All the mandates of the enemy against your life and your family, against your happiness, you've been given authority over it. So when you pray, don't say, I come against. Don't come against anything because they've already been come against for you. What you pray for is, you say, I take authority. I live in authority that is derived from the blood of the Son of God, that is derived from God himself. I take authority over cancer. I take authority over poverty. I take authority over all this different stuff. That's what you do. You have the right to rebuke things and let them depart. But you take authority. I take authority over my village. I take authority over my state. I take authority over my nation. I take authority over my family, over my environment, my neighborhood. I am called to rule. I am a ruler that leads and a leader that rules. I rule over this place. Therefore, no constituted powers of the enemy has the right to come and share territory with me. This is sweet. I love it. Hi, Chinya. <laughs> oh, Lord. I love what's going on here. You guys don't know. Come on, forget it. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. If you guys only know what we know, then life will be so awesome for many of you. I'm enjoying myself. Oh. He says, I have given you authority to trade. You know, like when soldiers march. Lift, right, hey, 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 hey. I have given you authority to march with your feet. To, 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 I mean, how do I put it? With your strong boot, with your strong boot, hit them on the head, break their head. Said, I give you authority to trade, to walk upon, to walk upon, 
to walk upon. He started with serpents. Why serpents? Because the enemy himself is a cunning serpent. He and his ash demons are cunning serpents. And what do they do? What do serpents do? They coil on somebody, those bigger ones, they coil on people, stretch themselves in order to, to just snuff the life out of you. Because their power is in tightening. They come to, these principalities come to tighten and pull in order to pull you apart, to kill you. So dealing with demons is not a joke. Dealing with the powers of darkness is not a joke. There are people who want to kill you. Therefore, you have the right, the legal right in Christ Jesus to fight and make sure that they do not come near you anymore and near your family. Not only that they will squeeze your money out of you, squeeze your relationship, kill everything that brings you joy so that you live a panic life instead of a panic-free life. You live in misery and not freedom. They, 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 why are they squeezing you, tightening you, so as to squeeze the life out of you so that you die? It is not to keep you alive. They are not joking. The reason is because they have hatred for you because you were created in the image of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. The image of God. And they don't like it. They don't like it that you've come to take their place. When they're lost on earth, God give you the earth that used to, that he placed them to be in charge of. Now you are in charge. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Who enjoys his position to be taken? Such a huge, mighty position. If only you guys know what position God has put you into, you will not be joking with your life. Serpents come to bite. They come to bite and put poison in you. And what's the, what's, why do they do that? So as to kill you. They come to bite you. They do not come to joke with you. They hate you. They, they have strong hatred for you. And that's why those who come into your life and you think they are coming for play, sometimes they get what they need, they leave you empty. Not only that they leave you empty, they start to fight you, to destroy you. That's why I see people who, who, who you think are poor. They don't even have money to pay their bills. And yet they have money to pay a lawyer to take you to court. That's what serpents come to do. The next thing that he's given us authority over are scorpions. What do scorpions do? They sting. Scorpions are the lower categories, the demons. They are the demons, the everyday demons. They come to sting you, put poison in your body, and you begin to swell up with problems and sickness and complain. You begin to whine and back and growl at everybody. Emotion begin to run wild like hellfire <laughs> because you have the poison of the scorpion in you you allow them and a lot of human beings around you are doing exactly that to you and until they leave before you begin even to feel they bite and they sting and by that time it's too late watch your circle my friend watch your circle and he also said I have also given you authority over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. 
Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Over all the powers of the enemy. Don't allow the enemy to live in your house. To settle with you. Don't settle with people you should not settle. Kick them out. When you feel something moving in your body that is not of God, when you feel something moving in your dreams, people are attacking you unnecessary for no reason. Speak this word. Reenact this drama. Reintroduce this word. And say, I am a child of God. Now say it with me. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say this. I am a child of God. I have constituted authority from God the Father. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. I move in the anointing. The man of God that I'm watching right now. Is imparting to me. Divine authority. Jesus has defeated the enemy by his blood for me. And I receive. That winning and success spirit. From what he has done for me. I receive from you Jesus. What you have given to me. When you defeated the enemy and I speak your word, I receive authority from you. Authority from you. And I defeat in your name and by your blood, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God and my King, my Savior, my Redeemer. I receive authority and impartation of authority from this man of God. And this, by this, I trade on all serpents, on all scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall harm me anymore. In Jesus' name. Amen. And if you pray that prayer with me, it is powerful. Heaven is now backing you up. Now, say this with me. Lord, I receive your power. Your ability is making me creative. I am sensible to the move of the enemy and I will not let them go free. I kick them out of my environment and of my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now let me begin to minister to you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, I am baptized with the fire of God. Oh, the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for covenant in the blood of Jesus. If you wish, you can say this with me. I thank you, Father, that I have a covenant in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I receive power, Father. I receive power. Oh, yes, Father. I receive stability in life. And I thank you. I thank you. I rebuke the spirit of misery. There's somebody looking at me. And the spirit behind all you do is the spirit of torment and misery. I rebuke it and take authority over it in Jesus' mighty name. There are many of you that are confused out there. You've been following the advices of friends. They will call you and tell you things and you follow them. The name of Jesus, I rebuke bad voices. I take authority over them in your life. Hallelujah. And you who live in perpetual fear of the enemy... I rebuke the spirit of fear, the principality of fear. I rebuke him. I rebuke it in Jesus' name and I take authority over it. I command you to be set free by the blood of the Son of God. Amen. And if you pray that prayer with me, write to me and let me know about what is happening in your life. And if you do not know Jesus as your personal Savior, let me say this to you. It's about time. Say this with me. Dear Father, my God and my King, I believe that Jesus came in the flesh, 
though God, was born of the Virgin Mary, lived on earth with us. He was crucified on the cross. He really died. On the third day, he was raised from the dead by the Holy Spirit, my spirit, the spirit of truth, your spirit. I believe that Jesus is my Lord and he has risen from the dead. And because I believe in him, forgive every sin of mine. Look upon Jesus, my forgiveness, O Father. Now baptize me with the Holy Spirit. Give me the life and nature of God. Let my mind receive that life and nature and my body. Let my giftedness begin to flow. Set me on the path of advancement in life. I ask this, O Father, even as I rejoice that you've written my name in the book of life. Amen. And if you pray that prayer, write to me. Write to me. And also consider to support what I'm doing financially. Go to the bottom of this video and contribute whatever God has made you willing to. And God bless you as I continue to pray with and for you. That is my mission on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah.